awful and terrifying, the waters of the earth stand. Reaching depths of up to 36,201 feet, the ocean can comfortably swallow Mount Everest without bulging. Shockingly, sunlight can only go to 3,200 feet deep, leaving 33,001 foot to darkness. In this mass twilight, we only wonder what roams. Surprisingly, scientists continue to discover new things from the waters, leaving us astounded. What are they? Keep watching to find out. As 71% of the Earth remains covered with water, we cannot fully grasp all the shocking things that water holds. This includes both things naturally found in the water and those from land but eventually swallowed up in the massive rivers, seas, and oceans. How far can your imagination go? Ancient artifacts, a lost sunken ship, or an entire city. All the recent shocking discoveries made daily only mean one thing. The underwater world accommodates things that are way beyond our imaginations. Shocking discoveries of lost cities. In recent times, there have been trends of scientists discovering ancient lost cities in the water, and some of these cities are even worth billions of dollars today. Again, it even turns out that some of the legendary cities we hear about are sometimes true, but somewhat submerged in the secretive depths of the sea. One such city is the lost city of Lord Krishna. Does this interest you? Let's dive into the details. Like the ancient city of Atlantis, Lord Krishna's lost city has stood for a long time as a legend unproved. But recently, archaeologists have made a shocking discovery. To our shock, the city has been sunken under the depths of the sea somewhere off the coast of India. From recent excavations from the site, people are convinced that it is the mythical city of Lord Krishna, as it holds old structures dating back to the 15th century BC. Therefore, we have learned from this discovery to be more open-minded considering the myths we are told. What do you think? Another lost city recently discovered underwater is the ancient Greek village of Pavlo Petri. Amazingly, the 5,000 years long submerged Greek village was found 4 meters underwater. From scientific analysis, this old city was submerged due to an earthquake that shifted the land. But how on earth did a whole village get submerged in water? Unexpectedly, another shocking human habitation I've also discovered by archaeologists underwater. This is none other than the ancient settlement found in Lake Isikol. The discovered settlement was said to be the 2,500 years old Saka settlement buried underwater in the Lake of Isikol. What's most shocking about this discovery is that some legends point to the fact that St. Matthew in the Bible, who was Jesus' disciple, was hoarding buried in Isikol. The legend is likely true from the recent artifacts recovered from the submerged settlements. Moving on, the next discovery is one you should take advantage of. The archaeologist Frank Godillo had spent decades searching for the lost city of Heraculon off the coast of Egypt. His efforts had proven unsuccessful until he decided to employ a powerful advanced underwater screening technology. It helped him find the underwater city submerged about 6.5 kilometers off the coast. His trophy was not just from finding the city, but also from the ruins found within the city were quite rewarding. Thus, from the ruins were found 64 ships, 700 gold coins, and a statue extending about 16 feet tall in the water. Now this artifact suggests that the city had been a well-to-do one. Furthermore, in 2005, a tsunami off the coast of India shockingly brought back something that seemed to have been forgotten. In it were revealed artifacts from an ancient city. Some have speculated that the ancient city was part of the lost Mahapali Puran Pagodas. The structures and artifacts that have been recovered were speculated to have been from a flourishing city that had met a disastrous flood. Shipwrecks If you have followed history, you know that the ocean has never been a place to dance. With its carry depth, it is not a place to walk through. In fact, 
only some sheep have successfully sailed through. As a result, many well-constructed ships have been lost at different times to the terrifying claws of the waters. Nothing was heard about them for years, sometimes decades or centuries. But recently, their ancient ruins have been rediscovered by archaeologists, who are doing a good job exploring the waters, giving us stories to tell. One of the shocking shipwrecks that has been rediscovered so far is the Ulaburan shipwreck discovered off the coast of Ulaburan. Amazingly, the 3,300-year-old shipwreck is one of the oldest recent discoveries that have been made by archaeologists. In it were found the wealthiest and most prominent artifacts of the Late Bronze Age. The most valuable item from there includes the golden seal of the Egyptian queen Nefertiti. How did the seal get there? Well, we hope the future brings answers. Moving on, another great shipwreck recently discovered underwater is the 1625 Vasa. From analysis, the Vasa were said to have sunk on her maiden voyage not far from the dock. This was due to the heavy winds of the river that had left her tipped over, cutting her sail short. Discovered by archaeologists, the Vasa now lies in a museum in Sweden. The next ship found in the depths of the sea is an ancient British ship. The ship had sunk as the result of a legal battle in 1708. The British ship was said to have sunk in sandals as it carried gold from Panama. As a result, the event is historically known as the Galleon Shipwreck. Shockingly, scientists had measured the treasure found within the shipwreck, which amounted to about $17 billion. Now, don't you wish you found this ship first? Furthermore, something miraculous has been discovered in a recently found shipwreck off the coast of Tuscany. In the 2,000-year-old submerged shipping vessel, words found an ancient Roman pill. Discovered by some Italian scientists, the pills were found in a tin whistle that was totally sealed. Despite this, it remains a wonder that the pills submerged for over 2,000 years have remained dry underwater. Scientists had concluded that it was eye medicine from the ingredients found in the pill. Now, the list of recently discovered shipwrecks is only complete with the discovery of the Great Titanic. Do you remember this great ship? It had sunk in April 1912, but in 1985, the wreck was found by a former Navy captain and oceanographer, Robert Ballard. Today, the finding of the shipwreck has become one of the largest archaeological finds in history. Due to the finding of this shipwreck, many assumptions have been eliminated as we now have more details about the horrible event. Nature's shockers, submerged cities and shipwrecks are not the only things found in the water. In fact, outside these phenomena, the deep still has a lot of shocking sights for us. Most of these sites are nature-based, and when they get revealed to us, we can only stand in awe. One of these shocking sights is the river in the Black Sea. Shocking alone is the fact that rivers can be found within large water bodies. However, the size of this river would throw you off balance. Indeed, if it was found in the world, this river could be said to be the sixth largest river in the world. This is shocking. But with 70% of the Earth covered by water, what else do we expect? While the river in the Black Sea is outstanding, have you heard of the Silver Crack? If you look, you'll find a place on a map where the North American and European continent plates meet. This is a special place in nature and the Earth's water bodies. It is called the Silver Lining, being a body of water found between a thin line that separates the plates of North America and the Europe continent. The water is said to be crystal clear because of the cold temperature and the underground lava. Now, what would you give to swim in the water this precious? What about the manganese nodules? This is another precious national site of the waters. Actually, manganese nodules form in all parts of the ocean. However, the Pacific Ocean was their best place of habitation. But shockingly, Something new about the manganese nodules has recently been discovered. German scientists have found a vast underwater field of manganese modules in the Atlantic Ocean. Its mental lumps go from layer to layer, crystallizing a core. 
the existence of the manganese modules has been worthwhile, as it has helped scientists understand the Earth's climate. This can be attributed to the millions of years it takes to form. In addition, when worst comes to worst, the water always seems to win over land when regarding achievements. Indeed, the water has achieved more depths than the land has reached heights. How is it so? Well, the Mariana Trench says it all. This is the deepest part of the ocean, going up to 36,201 feet deep. This trench is a sight to behold. The HMS Challenger discovered it seven miles into the ocean on March 23, 1876. Answer this time, only a few people have gone that deep. James Cameron is among the many few who eventually reached the bottom of the ocean. On March 26, 2012, he piloted the Deep Sea Challenger that was designed down to about 35,756 feet and 10,898 meters, creating a new record of being the first ever solo descent. What do you think? Would you be the next record breaker? And just when you think you heard it all, you've definitely not met the Zaytum Canyon. It is said to be the world's largest and deepest underwater. It was found in the Bering Sea and is said to be more profound than even the Grand Canyon, which we are all astounded by. Shockingly, it can even be seen from outer space sea circles. How amazing! That said, in 1995, divers discovered something shocking in Japan. There, they found crop circles. No one knew how these crop circles were formed until research was done. However, results were only achieved a decade later when it was discovered that the crop circles were formed through a mating ritual by a male pufferfish to attract female mates. What do you think about that? While the last discovery was quite funny, the next is indeed creepy. Ever heard of the scary discovery of the Ice Finger of Death? Here are the details. It is actually a water icicle that is said to look like a tornado. It travels down to the ocean surface and shockingly freezes everything on its path when it reaches the bottom. It's indeed a deadly force and one that has won its name. Next up is a diving spider. One could learn how to survive in the water by looking at the spider. Even though it needs oxygen to survive, this strange spider spends most of its life underwater. But how does it do this? Surprisingly, it follows old methods by building around itself a bubble that traps in the air, allowing it to breathe for an extended period. Interesting, right? But while we're still baffled about the spider, there's still much to worry about. More discoveries are still being made daily, and we can only wonder what the future holds as technology develops, giving us more access to deeper secrets of the underwater. What would be found next? Well, we'll have to wait and see. We've come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching till the end. But what do you think about these shocking discoveries of the waters? Do well to share your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you found this video helpful, feel free to like it, share it, and subscribe for more of its kind.